today i am presenting you this 40 years old female patient who presented to me with this whitish lesion on the cornea for the last uh, one month now she is having uh, mild pain watering foreign body sensation and gradual decrease of vision she denied any history of uh, trauma vegetative trauma contact lens wear but there was a history of dry eye you can see the eye is still dry and use of steroids for allergic conjunctivitis she lives uh, in a dry hot desert area she was prescribed topical antibiotics by local practitioner for this lesion but lesion is not responding to the treatment and slowly and gradually increasing you can see on slit lamp eye is not too much congested there is one large lesion with feathery fluffy irregular zigzag margins and few smaller satellite lesions then on corneal section endothelial plaques are clearly evident with corneal thinning surrounding the main lesion there is hypopion present as well there is no history of vegetative trauma but even when vegetative trauma history is present also ask whether the branch of tree was dry or moist because fungus is usually present in a moist vegetative trauma and dry wood can mostly cause bacterial keratitis now in cold regions yeast causes keratitis uh, mostly and in hot uh, regions uh, like us filamentous organisms uh, like fusarium and aspergillus uh, are the main culprits now just imagine this detailed history and slit lamp examination is clearly pointing towards the filamentous uh, fungal keratitis uh, which uh, in routine is not an easy job to reach the definitive diagnosis cultures uh, are done which are mostly negative for microorganisms and even if they yield a positive organism takes uh, two to three weeks then we have got uh, microscopy you can uh, see hyphae of the and uh, organisms under the microscope but the detailed history and examination is key to reach the diagnosis infection starts when epithelial integrity is breached either due to vegetative trauma or dry eye or steroid use like in this case fungus gain access to the stroma proliferates there proteolytic enzymes and toxins are secreted that causes further stromal necrosis and if not treated in time with antifungal medication can progress to corneal perforation now it is more dangerous because symptoms are less marked than bacterial in fungal signs are more marked than that's why delay in diagnosis occur my experience is good with aggressive starting therapy of topical intrastromal subconjunctival and oral antifungals iop should also be monitored treatment is given for longer period of time at least three months in fungal keratitis uh, unlike uh, bacterial keratitis uh, that can be healed within two weeks periodic debridement of necrotic stromal tissue can be done which can enhance uh, drug penetration and promote healing so that is a classical case of uh, fungal keratitis um, you should uh, now here you can see endothelial plaque uh, fluffy margins uh, satellite lesions uh, hypopion uh, less pain uh, 
सो दीज आर ऑल डायग्नोस्टिक क्लूज टू फंगल कैरेटाइटिस थैंक यू वेरी मच